Hi, this is Jakir. I'm coming to you on the Mix with the Masters platform. I want to just show you a little bit about what to choose maybe in a mix that's to make prominent and what sort of should be in the background. Not everything can be at the same level. Uh, things have to be featured and things have to be supportive. Um, whether you're mixing drum tracks together to, to present a drum kit or the way you balance background vocals, all different kinds of things. That's the lead vocal with a, an effect treatment that I printed, which um, it's like a reverse reverb. The reverb is actually, once I printed the reverb for the vocal, I shifted it ahead of where the vocal is actually happening. So you're hearing the reverb, it's almost like print through on tape or something. That's kind of what inspired it, the idea in my mind. Um, but now I'm going to take you to where the lead vocal is actually in the, in the chorus proper. much louder, it's sort of where you'd expect a lead vocal to be uh, volume wise, um, but I wanted the chorus up, up at the beginning of the song, the music, and then to be able to get to this, the, the guitar riff and the turnaround, but I made the choice to balance the vocals really low, so it's still, it doesn't really feel like that the singer is necessarily started the story of the song, it's just kind of trying to create part of the vibe. It's a drum and bass groove that's kind of been, you know, that started the song and the sort of the, the patty keyboards is really, they're still very much the, uh, uh, the main focus. You're still focused on the groove and the kind of the song starting. The decision was to uh, to create a, an affected vocal presentation and, and kind of get the song rolling without it being loud like the lead vocal. Where we place things and how loud we make them is essential in, in terms of like the emotional energy that we convey with with the with the mix and the song. If I didn't have that there, um, I think it would be it would feel we'd have, gosh, almost a minute of just music, which is cool music, but I think it wouldn't really draw the listener in. I kind of wanted to have the, the voice there and part of the story there to draw the listener in without uh, presenting it um, as a lead vocal. Another thing that I wanted to show you in terms of like balancing uh, elements in the mix is there's this high vocal part. It's, it's, it's not really a vocal, it's a, it's a keyboard. And there's also this vo Vox synth. So and, and, and what they're doing is they're sort of playing, they're padding around the vocal melody. So. The space around the vocal doesn't feel as as big and, and as supportive. And they're not really primary parts. Come down. 